Good evening, Legends fans, and welcome to Late Night with the Legends with me, Stephanie Fish. Thank you for joining me from our website, LexingtonLegends.com, from our Facebook page, or maybe from YouTube. We had an interesting night. We had a double header on this Penn Station Thirsty Thursday. Game one went pretty good for us. Started out a little rough, but went pretty well. We did beat the Kannapolis Intimidators 3-2, to two, and we scored all three of our runs towards the end of the game. And then we started game two. Game two was going okay. We got a little bit of rain, so we stopped in the top of the seventh inning. We were down 3-1 to one to the Kannapolis Intimidators and the umps ended up calling the game due to rain. So we did lose game two to the Intimidators three to one. So it was an interesting night, a tarp pull, squeegeeing in the grass, working really hard, but we did win game one, but we did lose game two. It was overall really great though, dollar beers, dollar Pepsis, and it was autism awareness night. So all the players were wearing the specialty jerseys, which we auctioned off to benefit the Autism Society of the Bluegrass. Fantastic for the legends and for the Autism Society. Thank you for joining us in those specialty jersey auctions. Coming up next is the McDonald's Pounder Play of the Game. Hey Legends fans, it's McDonald's Pounder Play of the Game, brought to you by the Double Quarter Pounder and the Quarter Pounder with Cheese. Pound one today. Here's the 1 0, -oh, and Burnett swings and lines it into right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. The Legends have the lead. Here's Burnett around first. He's going to hold on right there. The Legends will have runners at first and third. Coming home to score is Kwasnicka, and Lexington leads it 3 to 2. Keith Elkins is in the Kentucky Ale Tap Room with Legends player Tyler Burnett to talk a little bit more about the games. You know, I've heard uh, hitters mention many times that if you're uh, kind of accumulating that information with each at bat that uh, sometimes late in the game that can pay off if you're facing a guy uh, whether it's a, a, a new pitcher or not you might learn a little bit about what you're doing at the plate that night and in this case it looks like that's exactly what happened definitely our uh, hitting coach Joel Chamelis has been preaching that all year you know go at bat to at bat and that's all you can do in this game and just hope that you get a chance later on in the game to do something about it. And I struggled early on the first two at-bats today, and, and as did everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, the starter, he really threw well today. Right. But then uh, I just put it in the back of my mind and had to move on and learn from it, and, and I, I did. If you didn't join us for this doubleheader on Penn Station Thirsty Thursday, this is what you missed. should be good weather for us and we are going to host breaking b-boy mccoy that's going to be a bat boy as well as a break dancer so he's going to entertain us all night and we're also going to celebrate the royal wedding with a couple in-game promotions towards that and if you show up in a wedding dress you get a buy one get one free ticket for friday night we hope to see you then and have a great evening <laughs>